right, everybody, welcome to the Getting Started webinar for the Group on Affiliate Program. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to uh, join us here. Just going over the agenda. Uh, first, we're going to review a little bit about what is affiliate marketing. Then we'll go over some Groupon demographics so you can get an idea about how your site or sites may um, appeal to some of the Groupon customers. Then we'll review how to get tracking links. I'll show you a really cool tool called the Affiliate Link Generator. Um, another great tool, the Affiliate Widget, which automatically displays deals that are relevant to your viewers no matter where they are. And then just a quick look at reporting and, and where to go if you still need help after that. All right, so first of all, what is affiliate marketing? Basically, the, the traditional definition is that an affiliate marketer is compensated for driving traffic and sales to retailers. So in this instance, you guys would be the affiliate marketer and we would be the retailer. Traffic can get driven to Groupon in a variety of different ways, including social media, website, search uh, optimization, PPC, email, any variety, um, even including mobile. We're also able to track any mobile traffic that you drive us as well. So when you drive a consumer over to Groupon, whenever they make a purchase, whether it's on their first initial visit or any purchase within the 30 days of your initial referral, we'll give you a percentage of that sale. And so that's how affiliate marketing works. Everything is tracked using a Commission Junction, which is our platform. You're always able to access any kind of links that you need. You're able to track um, how many clicks, how many sales. And if you ever have any questions, you can also uh, get in touch with us through the Commission Junction interface or directly. Either way is possible. So now, to give you an idea of what the typical Groupon consumer is, um, about 68% of our consumers are between the ages of 18 and 34. Um, we've got about 77% of them are women, but we're actually starting to see this um, expand into the, um, see a lot more men starting to purchase on Groupon as well. Um, if you use Groupon personally, you're probably seeing a lot more of those oil change um, Groupons available. So definitely the, the men are, are representing. Um, in terms of income, about 30% of our buyers make over 100000 a year, and 13% actually make more than 150000 a year. So there's definitely people who have uh, a significant disposable income are shopping on Groupon. In terms of marital status, so almost half of our buyers are single. In terms of education, 50% um, and more are, uh, have either a bachelor's degree or above. And in terms of employment, about 75% of Groupon purchasers work full-time. Now, these demographics are a result of an internal survey that we conducted in January of 2010, but we still see that a lot of it's valid now. So what I'm going to do now is actually take you through uh, Commission Junction, and I'm going to take you through my affiliate test account, so you'll enjoy seeing that, I'm sure. When you first log into Commission Junction, this is the dashboard that you'll see. Um, it's got network information on the top left where you'll see some information about CJU. Um, that's a Commission Junction conference, so if you have time to go to that, that's a great one to attend. Um, but what we're going to do first is go over how to get links. Whenever you drive traffic to Groupon, you need to make sure that you use your affiliate tracking link. Um, the reason for this is there's your affiliate ID is embedded in this link and is passed over to us, and that's how we know to associate any transaction on Groupon with you. So to do that, all you need to do is click Get Links, which is on the top menu underneath Commission Junction. And then in the search box, just type in Groupon. And then once you find Groupon, all you need to do is just uh, click View Links, which is right there underneath the Groupon logo. This will bring up a variety of different links that we have. The most common is a banner. You can either scroll through all of these to see uh, which banners are available for you, or you can also filter this. So, for example, if you're looking for a particular size, you would click the additional search options link right there. And then in the size drop-down box, which you might not be able to see, um, there we go. In the size drop-down box, you can select from any of the available banners here. So let's say that I'm looking for a 300 by 250. All I do is select 300 by 250, click it, click find. And what CJ will do is actually scroll through all the creatives that we have and find all available 300 by 250 banners. Once you find one that you like, just go over to the far right, click Get HTML, and that will bring up a pop-up box that will have more information um, about this particular banner. It'll show you what it the full-size creative. Um, and then from here, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll get the opportunity to add an SID, which is this field right here. In this SID, you can type in um, any alphanumeric variable that you want. 
and this variable will be passed back to you in your transaction detail report so that you'll know which banner um, the person clicked before they made their purchase. So for example, if I'm doing a, um, a blog post on margaritas, I'll just type in margarita post and just type that into the SID. Um, click update link code. Scroll down to the bottom and all you need to do now is copy and paste this code anywhere onto your site. And then going forward, anytime somebody clicks on this banner, um, they'll be, uh, the, any transactions that, may be, that they make will be associated with your account. Go ahead and close that. Um, another great tool that we have, let's say you don't just want to drive somebody to the Groupon homepage. Let's say maybe you want to drive them to a specific deal that you see on Groupon. Um, what we have is a great tool called the Affiliate Link Generator. To get that, and uh, this will actually, I'll show you, uh, I'll provide this in, a, in our Getting Started Kit later, um, or you'll see a link to it in any of our newsletters. All you need to do is go to affiliatemanager.com forward slash Groupon. And this is what you're going to do in order to get the affiliate um, link generator. First thing it's going to ask is enter in your Commission Junction publisher ID. To find your publisher ID, just go into, group, uh, go into Commission Junction, click Account Settings, click Website Settings, and you'll see your PID listed there. Um, if you don't remember how to do that, this uh, visual tutorial right here um, will also show you how to do it as well. Once you know your publisher ID, just type it into the field provided and click Submit. Once you do that, you'll see that your bookmarklet is created, and all you need to do is bookmark it. You don't want to bookmark this page. You actually want to bookmark the link that is provided right here. Depending on your browser, um, there are different ways to bookmark this. So you'll look below at these, video, at these uh, banner images, and it'll show you for which browser you use, how to install it. I'm currently using Chrome, and so to do it in Chrome, all I need to do is click once, and then drag it up into my bookmark bar at the top. As you can see, I just did that there. All right. Now, in order to use it, all I need to do is click it once. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me over to the Groupon main page. Um, I'll see that, well, there's a, a deal for a Chicago Archery Center, but maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe actually I want to do a uh, fancy fortune cookies deal. Maybe I want to link to that and, and promote that one on my blog. So I'll go over and click on that deal. I'll click my bookmarklet link again. And as you'll see, that'll provide a drop-down box at the top, and it'll give me the opportunity to either create affiliate link code, to email the tracking link to somebody, um, to put it up into my Facebook account, or to Twitter it. For right now, what I'm going to do is just click affiliate link code. And as you can see, that'll bring a pop-up window, and it'll have my uh, CJ tracking link right there. And so now all you need to do from here is just copy and paste that code. Simple as that. So that's another great tool to use. All right, the next tool we're going to take a look at is the Affiliate Widget Builder. To do that, I'm going to go back to Groupon. And scroll down to the bottom of the page. There are three menus down here, Company, Learn More, and Extra. Under the Learn More menu, you'll see a link to the Affiliate Widget Builder. Go ahead and click that. And don't worry about it if, you, um, if you're madly trying to take notes. Um, all of these tools are actually linked to in every uh, affiliate newsletter that goes out. So I believe there's one sent on Monday, and I'll be actually sending another one um, tomorrow. So you'll be getting it in your inbox shortly. Um, but here's an example of the Daily Deals widget. What it is, it's a, just a banner that when you create it, will automatically display whatever deals most relevant to your visitor. So it's not really based on your content. It's based on what the visitor, uh, what we think is most relevant to the visitor. It's either going to be based on one of two things. It'll be based on their IP address, so we'll know where they're located geographically. Um, but we'll also take a look to see if they have visited Groupon recently. So for example, if they're um, residing in Chicago but they're planning a trip out to New York, we might actually show them the New York deal if the last thing they were looking at was a New York uh, page. So once you're on this, um, it'll ask you for your API key. Your API key is associated to your Groupon consumer account. So in order to get one, you would log into Groupon as your consumer and then click this link that's right underneath the API key. And it's pretty instant. Um, you don't need to do anything. Just uh, It'll ask you why you want an API key. You'll just need to say that you're a Groupon affiliate. For now, though, I'm just going to enter in some random numbers. Um, for your publisher ID code, we also need you to enter in. This is your Commission Junction publisher ID code. 
this is the ID that's found um, when you are in Commission Junction. You click Account, then you click Website Settings. That's one that's listed there. Um, again, if you don't know how to find it or you can't remember, all you need to do is click that link right there, and it'll explain it. But for now, again, I'll just enter in some random numbers. In Step 2, the next thing to do is just select an ad size. Again, we'll just go to the 300 and 250. I'll just click that. It says customize your ad accent color. We have it defaulted to group on green, but of course if you prefer a different color, you're welcome to do that. You can either enter the hex values or use your nifty color picker right here. Then for choose a city, you can either leave it defaulted to auto detect, and that's where we show the deal that we think is most relevant, or you can also pick any other market that's listed below. Once you've made all your choices, all you need to do is click generate widget. It spits out your widget right there. And as I scroll down, you'll also see that it provides code, and all of your code is right here. One of the most common mistakes that we see um, in these widgets is if you create it and you put it on your site, and when you click it, it goes to a broken link. Most often, we find out that the publisher ID code is incorrect. Um, a lot of times, people leave a couple of spaces at the end. Uh, what you want to make sure is when you put your publisher ID code in that field, that there are no spaces following that number. But if you ever need us to check anything, uh, we're always here to help you. So if you do find a broken link, um, just send an email to affiliate at Groupon.com, and we'll be more than happy to help. All right, now for a quick look at reporting, we'll go back into the CJ interface. Whoops, wrong one. going to get right back to the dashboard. So again, this is the page that you see when you first log into CJ. Now, up at the top, underneath the Commission Junction logo, um, you'll see a link that says Run Reports. All you need to do is go ahead and click that. There's a variety of different reports that you can run um, in Commission Junction. Probably the most common one um, is the transaction, or I'm sorry, the Commission Detail Report. When you click that, what this enables you to do is see every single transaction that you drive to any merchant that you're working with. Um, you're, able to, you're able to filter that down to a specific uh, retailer, and so I'm going to filter it down to Groupon. And you're also able to choose uh, either an exact uh, period, or you can also choose a date range. For now, we'll just choose an exact period, and I'll take uh, this month. And then just click Generate Report. Here, you'll see every single individual sale that has occurred. Um, you'll see the advertiser. You'll see the sale amount. You'll see how much you earned in commission, and you'll also see which website it was driven by, um, when it happened, and when it posted to your account. If you are using the SID value, which is that alphanumeric value that I said would be passed back to you in any of your reports, they would appear in that column right there. The other report that you're probably going to want to take a look at are the performance reports. If you go back up to the Commission Junction logo, and you look down to the left of the transaction reports, you'll see another tab that says performance reports. Go ahead and click that. The difference between your performance report and your transaction report is that transaction reports give you information about every individual transaction that occur with your merchants. Your performance reports will give you more of the click and traffic information that you might be looking for in relation to your sites. So for example, if I want to, do, uh, if I want to see how many, how many clicks I drove the to Groupon, all I would need to do is run a website performance report or a performance by advertiser report. I'll go ahead and do that. For the exact period, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run it for this month, and I'm also going to filter by all websites. Click Generate Report, and they'll show right here that for a Groupon, I uh, made $4.50 in commission. I sold $75 worth um, of goods, and I sold three items. I sold three items with 43 clicks, and so my conversion rate is 6.98%. Um, again, this is a test account. Those would be fantastic. Actually, that's not far off from actual numbers, so that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, the click-through rate is off just because my impression data is off, so don't, don't put too much uh, credibility in that. Take that with a grain of salt, that, that conversion rate number. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do now is just open this up for uh, questions, and I'm also going to put my... Um, let me get that up for you. I'm also going to put my contact information up here in case you have any questions. Um, the first question I have is whether or not we can get a copy of the demo slide, uh, of a copy of the presentation. And this will actually be available um, on our website shortly, probably in the next month or so. 
But if you want to shoot me an email at this email address right here, I can definitely forward over you um, a copy of the presentation ahead of time.